Victor, the semi-final of a World Cup. Mm. What would you say to people back home, like what that feels like? Oh, it's hugely rewarding, I guess, after such a um, a big build-up in the week and you know a lot of a uh, lot of ghosts put to put to bed. I think in terms of the guys that played in that 07 quarter-final. Um, at the same time, you know, getting a, a really good performance that we hadn't really put together during the pool stages and then making sure that we put it to bed, really, so that we can really focus on South Africa this weekend. Is there a period where you do need to, like, sort of come down from that high before you start again? Yeah, we talked about it um, as a squad. You know, um, I think it's always very good to enjoy your wins because um, <laughs> if you didn't enjoy your wins, what are you doing it for, you know? So um, we made sure we did that, but, you know, I think when we got together, you know, Today and, and yesterday, just making sure that the boys have realised that you know it's a full stop now in that in that game, and making sure that we focus on the challenge of South Africa that's ahead because we've never really faced them in like a semi final or knockout stage other than probably the final really in uh, back in '95. What are the keys now, like this week, in order to build again for what's going to be an even bigger step up? We already talked about it and making sure that we we come down first of all um, from everything that happened against France, and I know the boys are there now. Because I've already, you know, straight away where boys are looking straight into the clips of South Africa and whatnot, and you know the sort of stuff that was happening for France is happening now for Africa. So I know that the boys are on point. Make sure that we get all our work right, work done, and then just uh, building up slowly, really, and not getting too excited for the game. I know in training today we had to get told to sort of button it off and not try to smash each other, each other too early, because uh, I think the boys are just keen to make sure that we put out a, put a good performance come Saturday. In a situation like this, you've been together for six weeks, but. Knockout footy is this when, after all your experiences, where it sort of hits you in the face like this is why I play the game. Yeah, and I think this, you know, big occasions, you know, that's why you play the game. But also, you play the game because of the fellas that are with you, and um, you know, we've got some pretty, pretty big guys in terms of uh, the, the sort of level of dedication and loyalty they've given to our team that are still here. And you know, potentially we haven't really talked about it, but if we don't get the job done, you've got guys like Richie and, and Dan and, and Kevin and, and, and Ma, guys like that who won't be seeing in black anymore. So, you know, I think for us, it's, um, you know, that you play the game because of, uh, obviously you love the game, but also because of the guys that are there. And it would just be awesome if we could send them off properly in the way that we'd like to. Not far from Heathrow with all these planes, did, did Richie choose this place? Yeah, Richie always likes to have a little bit of a, a geese and say, try and pick out what it was. And it wasn't a 777 before, eh? <laughs> Oh yeah. Nah, yeah. What think, was it? I think it was an Airbus. Airbus, oh yeah, yeah. Big Airbus coming through. Yeah. Victor, all the best, mate. Thanks Cheers, very James. much. All good.